Hi everybody, welcome to JNS Farms. And today I thought I would show you what your rabbit tractor is going to do to your yard. Uh, if you don't have one and you're thinking about getting one, I just thought I would show you kind of what to expect whenever you, uh, or if you do want to get one. Now I just, I've already moved these guys today. Oh, I just about fell. Huh? And uh, this right behind here, that's what it's going to look like uh, right after you move them. Okay, uh, this was, uh, uh, this, both patches were yesterday. We'd move them twice a day. And then as you go along, you will see kind of the um, progression of it. It bounces back pretty quick. Uh, it's, it's not the uh, most sightly of things, but uh, if you want to have a rabbit tractor, that's what you're going to have to deal with. Now, if you're a person that likes your lawn nice and uh, manicured and pretty, uh, this is probably not a good system for you to have. However, it cuts down on feed costs quite a bit, and the rabbits seem to really enjoy it, being able to um, eat fresh grass, and, and uh, they have quite a bit more space, too, uh, than if you were going to raise them in just a, um, a regular cage. But uh, as you can see right here, that's kind of where the rabbits didn't get a hold of. And uh, they, they pretty well take it down quite a bit. And as you can see, it doesn't take long for it to bounce back. Now, the reason this, you can definitely, you know, tell where they've been. I haven't mowed this yet. Uh, I'm mowing today, so that's why uh, I was going to go ahead and... Uh, shoot this video because I want to make sure that you be able to tell kind of where they've been It's a little easier to kind of uh, gauge But uh, anyway, and once you mow this down to where it's all even you can't even tell where the rabbit tractor has been so Anyway, if you guys have any questions feel free to ask Let me know and this is what uh, It looks like after your rabbit tractor has been over your yard you guys have a good day. Take care. Bye.